Welcome to the session on Engineering Graphics. In today's session, we are going to see the projections of circular lamin. The problem statement is given. A circular lamina of 50 mm diameter is standing with one of its points on the ring on HP and the lamina is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. The diameter at right angles to the diameter which is passing through the point on which the lamina rests the stand is parallel to BP and 30 mm in front of PC. Draw the projection of the lamina. So to solve this problem we have to understand whether the lamina is resting on HP or PP. So here we have clearly mentioned that lamina is resting on HP with one of its points on the ring and the lamina is also inclined 45 degrees to HP. We have to rest the lamina on HP with one of its corners. So to start with go to line, draw a line, name this line as XY line. Then this is PP and this is HP. So to draw the circle, we have got the circle command. Click on this. If this is the center, the diameter of the circle is 50 mm. Enter it. Then draw a radius that is 25 mm. Then select this radius and divide this circle into 8 equal parts. So after selecting the radius, you have to go to the circular pattern. You have to click at the center point. Here you have to change the angle to 360 degrees and enter it. The count is 8. We are dividing the circle into 8 equal parts and just say finish. You have got the circle divided into 8 equal parts. Now we can name these 8 points as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So this is a circle having a diameter of 50 mm you can make this 50 horizontal by going to properties text make it horizontal so you see duplicating this diameter you can keep it wherever you want like this or like this so this is a circle having diameter 50 mm. So top view you have drawn. Now we have to get the front view of this. So project all the points. Point A, point B, and point H, point C, and G, point D, and F, and point E. So all the 8 points we have projected. This extra line you can trim it off and now you can connect this point to this to this to this point and this point in the same line you have to pick it this is the line which you have to take it as a front view for the stage 2 where the lamina is inclined at 45 degrees to HP so select that line go to move command Pick that view and place it somewhere here. Right click, go to rotate from this end to this end. Rotate it by the given angle that is 45 degrees. Enter, rotate it, make the line as rigid set. Check this, go to connect, connect this end on this line. You can go to select 
and you can move this line wherever you want. So the second view is ready. Now you can name these points here that is a dash, this is b dash in bracket h dash. And this point you have got as p dash in bracket g dash. This is b dash in bracket f dash, and this is a dash. So you can keep the names at appropriate places, and the same names you can copy to this front view so hold control button take this A place it here take this B and H place it here C and G here D and F here and E here now if you project this A dash and project this A where these two int, uh, projections intersect that would be A point. So from A and from this A dash like this. Projected from A dash, projected from A where they intersect that would be point A. And similarly from P dash, okay, so first we get the H, we can stop it here and then we can come to B, we can come here, we can connect this, we can also connect from H to H dash like this, then from C dash, so C dash and G dash are common, so first we'll stop at G dash and G then from G dash to C like this then from D dash till this F first because so there is a alignment indicator from here to here and then from here till this D, like this. Now from E dash to this E dash here, like this. Click here, connect it back. You can view the names as B, C, D, E, F, G and H. You have got the 8 points here and you have to connect these 8 points. Now to connect these 8 points we can use the curve command but here as the lamina is inclined to only one plane you can have the ellipse command here go to ellipse, drop down this ellipse by center point or ellipse by 3 point you can use it. I will select Ellipse by center point. So this is the center. This is one of the axis, and this is the other axis. I place it. I'll be getting the ellipse. The angle of the lamina with respect to HP is given. That is 45 degrees. That I have placed, and we have got the second stage completed. Now for the third stage, they are saying that the diameter at right angles to the diameter which is passing through the point on which the lamina rest or stand is pad to VP and 30 mm in front of P. So here the resting point is A, resting point is A point. And the diameter, diameter passing from A is A, and the diameter right angles to this A is CG. 
they are saying that the CG is 30 mm in front of PC and parallel to PC. So at this view, this CG or GC is perpendicular to VP. So we have to make it parallel to VP. So to do that, we have to pick all the lines from here and the circuit. We start with picking it. We don't want this letters, so just uncheck them. This is a circle with all these lines we require. So I have selected. Then go to move option. You want to pick it from this point. Any point you can select, you can select from the center as well. Move it. Right click. Now you have to rotate this circle in such a way that the CG should be 90 degrees. Sorry, the pal to PP or X1 like this. Place it. Now the CG is pal to XY. Lamina is taken here from here. Now we have to select this entire lamina and we have to make it rigid set. Check this. So it has become rigid set. So this GC is pad to VP and 30 mm in front of PP. So make it as 30 mm in front of PP and we can give the name. So if you start this as C then this would be D, this would be E, this would be F, this would be G, this would be H and this would be A, this would be B. So these are the 8 points which will be happy and the GC or CG is Pad to PP and 30 mm in front of PP we have used. Now we have to project it to get the front view. To get the projectors, starting with A, projected from A to A dash, projected from B till this B dash, projected from C till this C dash. Projector from D till here already it is drawn so from T to D dash. Projector from E till here it is drawn so E to E dash. Projector from F F to H it is drawn. So F is here so before that we are getting this H so we stop at H. And then go till F and we'll connect this and we'll connect this as well. Then from G from this end. Till this point here. So all the eight points we have projected. So we can connect all these 8 points, again we can go for the curve command or we can go for ellipse by center point. So this is the center, this is the other point, this is the third point, click it, you have all the ellipse, again you can name the points, this is A dash. Then this point would be C dash, this is C dash, this is D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash. So these are the points or the projections what we have got. Now we have to use the line conventions here. So go to select tool. Select the XY line which will have a thickness of 0.15 mm. Enter it. 
then the remaining all the wheels including circuit the front key all these wheels will have a thickness of 0.4 mm and remaining lines will be having a thickness of 0.05 mm which we have maintained by default the things which were given like 50 mm diameter we are shown 45 mm angle of the lamina we are shown the diameter at right angles to the diameter which is passing through the resting point on which the lamina rest is pal to vp we have made this gc pal to vp and 30 mm in front of cp and we have completed the solution for the circular lamina thank you